Hello everyone, this is a Mass Analyst. A couple of days ago, a uh, new warrior man sent me a message asking him what I thought of his situation. It seems that YouTube has suspended his account, at least temporarily, and though they brought his account back, and I'm not sure what the reasons behind it, though they brought his account back, he's lost all the comments that he's posted on hundreds if not thousands of videos. Now, I have to admit that I haven't been watching New Warrior Man's videos, so I really don't know if he's violated any terms of ser service or not. He says that he hasn't, and judging from the comments on his videos, it looks to me like most people think that he hasn't violated any terms of service. So let's go into the assumption that he hasn't. Uh, the question is, uh, he, the question that he's raised is, does he is, is YouTube infringing upon his First Amendment rights by deleting his comments or even deleting his entire account, suspending his account? Now it's unfortunate if his account is suspended. Uh, I don't like seeing accounts unnecessarily suspended. Uh, I think everyone should have as much right as possible to be able to speak their mind. However, this is not a question of First Amendment rights. Uh, the First Amendment right to <coughs> excuse me, the First Amendment right to free speech prohibits the government from discriminating against uh, people from preventing them from uh, speaking their minds freely. It doesn't say anything about private enterprise. Whether you like it or not, YouTube does not have any legal obligation to allow you to maintain an account on their website. They have no more of an obligation to let you publish your videos on their site than the New York Times has an obligation to print your letter to the editor. If you were to go into Walmart, say, and try and petition their, custom, uh, their customers for any political purpose, you pick a purpose, uh, uh, abortion rights, maybe gun control, whatever, uh, they have every right to kick you out. Uh, go, uh, businesses are not regulated by the First Amendment in that sort of way. Now, YouTube could get into some trouble if they were to discriminate against people based on their sex or their religion or their race, and they said, well, we're not going to allow black people to post on their site. Then, then YouTube could get into trouble. But short of that, uh, they're under no obligation to. Now, though they're under no obligation to do uh, to allow as much free speech as possible. Certainly it would be nice if they did that. And they're under no obligation to give you a warning uh, if they're going to suspend their account. And they're no, under no legal obligation to inform you why your account has been suspended. And in fact, uh, uh, New Warrior Man, yours is not the first case where people's accounts have been suspended for no uh, obvious reason and YouTube has uh, in the past not notified people ahead of time. Now I think it would be good business practice on YouTube's part and I think they morally should warn people and from a business point of view it's better to warn your uh, video contributors that they may be in danger of losing their account so that they have a chance to get their act together to avoid certain behaviors problem is a lot of people just don't know where the line is and a little bit of guidance from YouTube would be helpful. It would also be good for them to send you a note if they delete your account. That way you could possibly point out facts that they may not be aware of. I'm sure that they're, the people at YouTube are doing their honest best to try and maintain as open an environment for people to post their opinions as possible. However, they're human, they'll make mistakes, and they may delete an account that, when all facts are in, really should not be deleted. Now, how can you fight their decision? How can you put the facts in the proper context if you don't even know why your account is being suspended? So I hope that in the future, YouTube will at least adopt a policy to notify you as to why your account is suspended. Now I saw someone post a comment on one of your videos that uh, YouTube should not be banning accounts because, well, what if 
someone's life revolves around YouTube and when their account is suspended they are so devastated that they commit suicide then won't YouTube uh, be sued? Won't they be in legal uh, hot water? Well, of course, someone could sue YouTube for anything. Anyone can sue anyone for almost anything. But that lawsuit would be a frivolous one and it would have absolutely no basis. YouTube is not under any obligation to foresee what's going to happen as a result of their actions. They have no more obligation to keep someone's account up on YouTube than, say, uh, a television studio or television broadcasting system has an obligation to keep your favorite TV show on the air because your life revolves about around it. If someone pulls, if the TV station pulls the latest soap opera and someone's life revolves around that soap opera and they go around and, uh, in despair and they finally kill themselves, do you think their heirs should be able to win a lawsuit against the TV station? Uh-uh. Now, maybe YouTube should be under uh, the requirements of the First Amendment. Maybe YouTube should be regulated by the government. I'm going to leave that argument for other people to make. I can see pluses and minuses as to whether the government should step in and regulate YouTube. YouTube does have a unique position being the most one of the most dominant websites on the internet. The downside is if the government does start to regulate YouTube then it might discourage other websites from innovating, other people from sinking their money into developing innovative websites if they think that the government's going to step in and regulate them. There are other downsides and there are pluses, but uh, I, I will let other people argue that. But the point I want to make in this video is that whether you like it or not, YouTube doesn't have any legal obligations. And I see from your latest video, uh, New Warrior Man, that you've hinted that you might sue YouTube. You didn't actually say it, but it, the hint was certainly there. Well, if you want to spend tens of thousands of dollars on your, a lawsuit, that's your money. I suggest that Google is much able to handle the legal expenses on their side than you will be on your side, but inevitably you will lose. I don't like the situation. I don't like the fact that they can terminate accounts for any particular arbitrary reason. My guess is uh, the best solution is the free market solution, at least in theory if YouTube becomes too arbitrary and they eliminate too many accounts then a competitor will step up uh, and they'll see what YouTube has done wrong they'll see that they've pissed off a lot of their video contributors and they'll open up a new site with more relaxed rules and people will eventually migrate to them now other people feel free to uh, post videos explaining why you think maybe the government should regulate this, like a utility perhaps, and that might be a topic for further discussion, but uh, I haven't really made up my mind on that point. This has been the Mass Analyst, under an end.